Hey guys, I am back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be my March favorites video. I'm super excited because I have quite a few things to share with you, but I do want to admit that I really hesitated on putting this video up for you guys just because I feel like I don't have that many like makeup products to share with you. Um, so I kind of hesitated on putting this video up just because I felt like you guys aren't going to want to see anything unless it's related to makeup. But I feel like some of the items I have here, I mean, people love skincare and hair care too, right? So um, I figured I'd share the things that I have been loving with you as far as my skincare and hair care goes um, because I feel like those are the things that I really kind of leave out um, of my videos sometimes and I get a lot of questions on my hair. What do I use on my hair? Um, so I kind of wanted to share the kind of things that I have been loving to use on my hair as well as my skin and I also wanted to share some fashion favorites with you as well. I got a new bag. I also have been loving shoes lately. So I picked up a ton of new shoes and I kind of want to share them with you because I feel like they're great to wear um, for spring and summertime. So yeah, let's get started um, with this video. First, I want to start with the bag that I picked up. Um, I was on the hunt for a bag and I really, 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 really wanted to splurge on a Louis, but I just was not sure which one I wanted or if I even wanted to spend that kind of money on a bag because with me um, and bags, I... I don't use a bag that often, especially a handbag because I'm always at work and when I go out I'm always using a crossbody because I just feel like it's a lot lighter so I didn't want to spend that kind of money on a bag um, if I wasn't going to be able to use it daily um, because when I come home, like I said, I take my handbag, I put it on my dresser and then I'll take my wallet out of it and I'll put it in my crossbody and that's what I use for my days off and weekends and stuff like that. So I really didn't want to splurge on a really expensive bag like that if I wasn't going to use it all the time. So I was on the hunt for something that was black, something that I can use for work, um, something that I can use that's just going to be lightweight that was going to go over my shoulder and I was really picky about the inside as well. Um, I wanted it to have kind of like divided sections in the bag. So I came across this bag right here and it's a Kate Spade bag and it's so beautiful guys. I love the fact that it's all black ones. One, it cinches like kind of inside here. It doesn't pull out, which is what I like. Um, so I really like the way it cinches in. It kind of has like a really nice shape to it and the straps are long enough to be able to put over my shoulder. And another thing I really liked about this bag was something that I was looking for was the fact that it does have the divided sections in the bag. So it has like a larger section here, it has the zipper, and then it has another section in the back. So I really, 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 really love this bag. I think that it's super cute. And again, it's Kate Spade. So I'm obsessed with this bag, guys. This is a bag that I've just been loving um, to carry with me. And like I said, it's super lightweight. I cleaned it out and I really wanted the divided sections to be able to organize everything. Um, another thing in the bag, you guys probably seen it, is this little um, notebook right here. This has been something that has kind of really saved me um, as far as like when it comes to sleeping at night. Being a photographer and being someone who, who makes YouTube videos alone, um, you have a lot of thoughts going through your mind all the time. And I do work full time, I am a store manager, um, and with that alone takes up a lot of like, I'm, I'm just constantly thinking about things I have to do at work, paperwork I have to get done at work, you know, things that need to be moved within my store or, you know, just several different things that go on with my full-time job alone. But not only that, I have clients who contact me who want a specific theme, who want like, you know, specific batch offs or something like that. So I'm constantly thinking about my full-time job, my part-time job. And then I'm also thinking about YouTube because I really, really want um, to... I've told you this before, I really want to focus and throw myself more into YouTube. It's just really hard for me to do with those two jobs. Um, but again, I have all all kinds of thoughts going through my head. So I picked up this little notebook and it has saved me so much because I can't sleep at night. Like I find myself up thinking all night long about things I have to do for my full-time job, banners I want to make, kind of like, you know, because I make all my banners at home for my backdrops. Um, for the most part, I make pretty much most of my banners um, for my backdrops and stuff like that. So everything I do is made by me. So I'm constantly thinking of things I can come up with. So 
instead of trying to like remember everything, I picked up a notebook to write everything down in. And I love it so much because I don't forget about anything. So if I need to refer back to any kind of thought that I have, I just have everything written in here. And I think that it's helped me so much as far as like being able to sleep at night because now I can just write everything that I need to do down in this book or any kind of ideas I have down in this book and I can just refer to this book later instead of being up all night trying to remember everything that I am thinking of. So I feel like this is something that is very, very useful for people who just have day-to-day -day jobs who kind of think a lot and just really need to write down stuff and I think it's a really great idea to do that and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner but it has really helped me. So if you guys <laughs> have that same problem where you guys just cannot stop thinking and you can't shut your brain off for just one second um, and you guys have problems sleeping at night because of that, try and pick up a notebook and write things down and when you have an idea just jot it down and it will help you so much. So this has been something that I've really been loving and it's really helped me to sleep better at night. Another thing I picked up for my new bag is this wallet right here, and I'm super obsessed with it. It's so cute. Um, I came across this in a coach store, and I really, really, really wanted it um, because I feel like this is just something that's a little smaller than like a bigger wallet to be able to put into my crossbody um, if I don't want to take anything in and out of it. I'll just dump this into my crossbody with my phone, and I'm good to go. Um, so I really, really like this. It's so super cute. It opens right here, and it kind of has like... A place for your ID and then for your cards and then on this side it has just an opening section for any kind of money or receipts that you want to put in um, so I have been loving this so much the next thing I've also been loving is this cute little Kate Spade I feel like I have a ton of Kate Spade products here um, this is a cute little Kate Spade little kind of like card holder um, I got this specifically for my crossbody just um, so that I don't have to put my wallet in it. So if I do end up going somewhere where I know I'm gonna be out all day and I don't want my crossbody weighing down with the wallet, I will go ahead and take my card and I'll take my ID and just put it in here. And I love it because it opens and it also carries, you know, just a little bit of cash in there as well. So I really like this. I was planning on getting just a card holder, but I was like, I don't wanna do that because I just felt like, what if my cards slide out? What if I do need to carry cash? So I thought that this was really perfect for me to just put, you know, a couple cards in there, my ID and um, some money. So I really have been loving that too. Next that I've also been obsessed with, I recently got this, but I'm already obsessed with it. It is the iPhone 6S. Um, if you guys know, I shared a while back in a video when I got the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, let me just tell you, I hated that phone. The minute I got it, I really liked it, but then I was hesitant after when I started using it. I just couldn't maneuver anything with like one finger. It was really hard for me to use the phone. I have really small hands, so it was really inconvenient for me to have that phone. I felt like I was cradling, cradling it like a baby all the time, like I didn't want to break its neck. Um, it was just too big of a phone for me. It was too much for me, but I recently picked this one up and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the iPhone 6S and then I love the case that I have on it. It's, again, a Kate Spade um, case. I have a lot of Kate Spade stuff with me. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. I love it. And I love the fact that it will fit in like my wristlet like this. So if I go to open this little part that has like the part for the money, my phone will just fit right in here. And I love that. So I love the fact that I did get a smaller phone. The 6 Plus was just way too big for me. So I will never make that mistake again. But yes, I have been loving this phone right here. All right, next let's jump into what I want to start with first. Uh, let's go on with the shoes and then we'll start um, and then we'll go into like all of the skincare and hair care and the, the few makeup items that I have. So for shoes, I've been obsessed with shoes, guys. I don't know what it is, but I have been super obsessed with shoes. I've been obsessed with like the heels with like the little chunky heel. Um, and I knew that I really wanted to get some in like a camel color and a pair in black. So I was watching Tiffany D's video one day and she was doing like a haul and she had shown these shoes right here on that haul but it was in like, she had hers in like the camel color um, but I wanted them in black. They're kind of like a bungee kind of um, strap here and then they go up in the middle right here and then they kind of clasp down on the side and you can see the heel is really small. It's kind of like that chunky small heel and these are so 
comfortable. I will find the link and put them down below for you, but these are Vince Camuto's and they are so super cute. I feel like this is just a pair of shoes that you can wear with anything. You can wear them with a pair of distressed denim, kind of rolled up and cuffed up into a capri. Wear these with a basic t-shirt with something like kind of thrown over it. Or you can just wear them with a cute little dress, maybe a romper. I don't know, something really, really super cute, but I think that these are so cute, and again, they're so comfortable, guys. That is what I'm looking for when it comes to shoes, is just the comfort of a shoe. Um, but something that's really universal that you can wear, you know, either dressed up or kind of just casual, but I think these are so cute. Again, I'll link them down below if I can find them. I got them at Nordstrom, and I got mine in a wide. I recommend if you do have a wider foot to get them in a wide, because they do come in wide. Um, because I think that these are just really, really comfortable. They're so cute. And I'm going to Cabo in August, so I think this, this is something I'm going to be able to take with me and just, you know, feel really comfortable in. So that is my first pair. Um, next pair is this pair right here. Oh, to die. These are so super cute. I, I will be honest with you, these aren't the most comfortable shoes though. I did get these at Charlotte Russe, so I am on a hunt for something that's more comfortable um, that is kind of like this style. They also had another style just like this with the um, laces, but I'm not too big um, of a fan of the laces. I just think that they look really sloppy sometimes. Some people can pull them off, don't get me wrong. They look gorgeous on other people, and I really thought that I can pull them off, but if you guys don't know, I'm five foot my legs are really stocky like I have really muscular legs and when I wear shoes that are kind of like taken up too high with a lace kind of just cuts me off a little bit so I thought that these were perfect and the ones that have laces kind of went up a little bit too high um, so these were perfect they sat right, right below my ankle and they didn't you know it just doesn't look like it's cutting off my leg too much because I already am short I don't need that look on me so I really, really like these. Again, they're from Charlotte Russe, and I believe they still have them on their website, and they do have them in store as well. And they're not that bad of a price, but they're just not as comfortable as I would like them to be. So these are cute. Next are a couple shoes I got from Forever 21, and I ended up ordering these at first. How cute are these? Super cute, right? Super cute. Um... I ordered this color at first, but then I started looking at the black ones and thought maybe I can get the black ones too um, because I think I can, you know, get a lot of use out of them. So I did get both colors. I got the black and I got the tan, and I think they're super cute. These are from Forever 21, and sometimes when I'm shopping for shoes at Forever 21, it goes with their clothes too. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. You can get a really good pair of shoes and get a long time wear out of them. Or you can get a pair of shoes and they're just really uncomfortable, they're not made well, um, they're really cheap looking, um, but these ones are really soft, they're really nicely made, guys, they don't, I mean, I wouldn't have even known that these were from Forever 21 if I had not purchased them myself. Like, they are just so, like, really well made and they're really comfortable as well, like, they're soft on the bottom, they are very durable. This part right here feels like, you know, real leather, of course it's not, but it feels like it but they're just really, really well made. So I had to pick them up in the black too. So I will leave these down below if I can find them because I know I was just on their website last night looking for some more shoes and I did come across these. So they are still on their website so I will definitely leave them down below. And then next is another pair of shoes that I have been loving and it's these ones right here. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, those are so ugly, but these are so cute and I've been looking for a really good pair of shoes just like this. But I didn't want to spend the money on like the Birkenstocks because I don't really, I don't know. I'm just not home enough for me to wear, you know, a lot of like my casual clothes, you know, that I wear. I'm always in my work clothes or I'm always in gym clothes because I do a lot of photo shoots and I find that gym clothes are really like the most comfortable to like work in when it comes to like my photo shoots. Um, so I don't really wear a lot of like my personal clothes. Um, that I would wear out because like I said I'm working a lot um, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money on the Birkenstocks which I really really wanted but I got these at Payless and they were like less than 20 I believe they were like $20 or less than $20 and you can probably find them cheaper than that if they go on sale but these are just so cute and I love them so much um, I don't know I just think that they're really cute they're super comfortable too so if you guys are looking for a pair of shoes like this try Payless um, they always have really good deals on their shoes, and their shoes are really well made, and they're really comfortable as well. So, yes, I have been loving shoes lately like crazy. All right, now let's get into the skincare, makeup, and hair care that I want to share with you. All right, so first, I do want to quickly mention that I have been trying to find a coconut oil 
for my hair for quite some time now, but I don't want to spend the money on like an expensive coconut oil. So I researched a lot of things and I came across um, this right here and it's just it's just from the grocery store guys. This is just the uh, Spectrum Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. Always when you're going to use something like this on your hair, make sure that it's the organic virgin kind. Um, that's what I did when I researched everything. Everything said that when you're going to use coconut oil in your hair or anything like that or for your skin, use the organic virgin kind. So that's what I did. I went ahead and picked this up right here and I have been loving this for my hair. So I'll put it in my hair. Um, I'll just like, you know, kind of run it through my hair and then I'll run it through the top of my hair and then I'll kind of just put a hair tear, a hair tear, a hair tie onto my hair and I will let it sit in my hair for probably like three to four hours and then I will go ahead and wash my hair twice with um, shampoo and then kind of wash it out. And my hair has really never felt so soft. And I don't know what it is, but my hair has been growing a ton lately as well. And I don't know if that's due to the coconut oil that I've been using, because I've been using this a ton lately. Um, and I don't know if it helps with the growth of your hair, but my hair has been growing like crazy. But it's also been super shiny, and I love that. So um, if you guys are wanting to try coconut oil, just remember to try the organic virgin kind. And I have been loving this to put in my hair. I've also used it because I heard you can use it on any kind of blemishes or scars that you have and I'll kind of lighten them up which is what I did on my face because I did have like you can kind of see right here well this is actually a pimple coming through but right here in this area I did have some scarring from some breakouts that I had and it was just driving me crazy like when I would take off my makeup I hated seeing the scars that my breakouts left me because for some reason I've been breaking out so much lately especially during that time of the month I will break out so bad on my chin area and it's just crazy. I don't know what it is and I don't know what's causing it, but I have been getting a ton of breakouts. So I have kind of placed this onto the scarring parts of my face and it's kind of lightened them up a lot lately. So I don't know. I don't know if it's due to this or it's just the scars are just, you know, lightening up on their own, but I've been really loving, I have been really loving to use this on both my hair and any kind of scars that I do have. So. This has been great. All right, enough, a couple next things um, for my hair that I have been using is of uh, these two right here from the Caviar. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging um, from Alterna. These two are amazing. I picked these both up. These are replacements because I already went through two of these already. And this one is the Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. So the way I like to use this is I will, if I'm going to style my hair and I know I'm going to curl my hair, I will take a shower, um, let my hair towel dry a little bit, and then I will spray this into my hair prior to blow drying. Now when I blow dry my hair, um, it automatically gives my hair tons of volume. I have really really I have really really thick hair but my hair just kind of weighs down on me a little bit there's no volume to it whatsoever so I like to use this on my towel dried hair right before I go to blow dry and it just adds tons of volume to my hair without being too much I also love because I've tried using something like this prior and it leaves my hair really oily and I just hate the feel of it so this feels almost like you're just spraying water into your hair but it's actually not water it's actually a product that's going to add tons of volume, but I like the fact that it does not feel oily at all. I hate sprays that feel oily, and then when you go to blow dry your hair, your hair just kind of feels like sticky, and I just hate that feel. So I love this one right here. This is amazing. Like I said, this is my second bottle already, and I absolutely love this stuff right here, and it smells so good. Like I love the fact that you could just spray it onto your hand, and it's not oily that there's no oil residue at all. So I really, really love this stuff right here. So again, that's the Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist by Alterna. And next is a Perfect Texture Finishing Spray. Guys, this stuff is amazing. Oh my God. Okay, again, this is by Alterna and it's the Caviar Anti-Aging 1-2. And I just love this. It has definitely replaced any kind of hairsprays that I've ever used in the past. This stuff is amazing. I've been looking for a textured finishing spray for some time now, but again, I get that like sticky, kind of oily a mess in my hair. So I really like to, after I towel dry my hair and I go to spray this on my hair um, and I blow dry my hair, I get that volume that I want. I go to curl my hair and style my hair. And then I will go and spray this into all my curls. I'll kind of lift my hair a little bit like this and spray it. 
lift it, spray, and then I'll spray it throughout my entire back of the hair and it just gives me the perfect texture. Like my, my curls are really loose. I can still touch them. I can run my hands through them. Um, they, they're just really touchable. I love that about this spray. It does not leave an oily, sticky residue on my hair. It leaves a perfect kind of texture. My curls are really piecey. They're loose. Um, and also they're really volumized because of this right here. Um, so then after that, I will go ahead and let it dry and the curl lasts for so long. So it's almost like holding the curl as well. So if you guys are looking for something that gives your hair a lot of texture, but also is a finishing spray that holds the curl in, definitely give this a try. I think it's amazing. These products are a little pricey, but I think for the money, it's definitely worth it. So you get volume, you get texture, you get the hold. It's amazing, love them so much. All right, next is a face charcoal and black sugar mud mask. Anything charcoal I'm kind of like obsessed with because I just think it's like, I don't know what it is about the charcoal, but I feel like my face is really cleansed afterwards. <laughs> so this again is um, the charcoal and black sugar mud mask from Freeman. Um, I've talked about this brand for, before. I have the cucumber one. I have the avocado one. I love this brand right here. This is not a peel off mask. It is a mud mask. So when you apply it to your face, it is very drying. Um, you let it dry for about 10 minutes and then you go ahead and rinse it off with warm water. And seriously guys, you will feel amazing. Your skin will feel amazing. It's just so soft, super soft. My pores are cleared. It just takes out any kind of like dirt and oil smooths and purifies your skin it's amazing so if you guys are wanting a mask to try definitely try the freeman charcoal black sugar and mud mask ah, love this stuff all right let's go into another item that i've been wanting to pick up for a while but i've kind of hesitated on it just because i had the murad cleanser and then i also have the simple foaming cleanser as well so i kind of wanted to go through those first prior to buying anything else and I picked up the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. This has been a cleanser that I've been wanting for some time now, but I kind of hesitated. Um, I went back and forth on it because I wasn't sure about it, but I've been hearing tons of great things about this and it's by Philosophy and I have loved it so far. It's amazing. It's like a one step facial cleanser so I don't really need to do anything else. In the morning I will wash my face with this. At night when I come home and I'm ready to take off my makeup I will go ahead and use this as well. I think it's just an amazing one step facial cleanser. Like there's no thinking process behind it. It just really deep cleans your face takes off all your makeup. Your face feels really nice and soft and super clean afterwards. So I love this and I definitely will repurchase this again because I am obsessed with this right here. All right, next is the last few items I want to talk about. So first is face primers. Um, you guys have heard me mention this already. You guys have actually heard me mention both of these already. But um, when you heard me mention um, this in one of my last videos, Zoe's outside. She's wanting in. Um, so you guys have heard me mention this um, in my last video, but I mentioned it with the Smash 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 Box um, Water Primer. That's what I really liked to use. I liked to use that spray, and then I also like to use this together. But lately, the Smash Box uh, Primer Water has been replaced by the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. I have been loving to use the both of these together. I think they're just amazing. So what I'll do is I will take the Smashbox primer and I will go ahead and just place it right here around my nose area because I've noticed right here on the side of my nose, I have really extremely large pores. So this does a really good job at really cleaning up all those pores and kind of like hiding them a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take my finishing spray and I'll spray it prior to foundation. Um, and then after that, I will go ahead and apply my foundation. I think that both of these right here just set a really nice base. It sets a really nice canvas for the application of your foundation. These two right here have been like holy grail for me. I have loved them. I have not stopped using them since I started using them together. And I think they're just, they're just amazing. Um, and I think for the amount of product that you get in this, like, I mean, it's down to right here, and I've had this for some time already. I think that for, for the amount of product that you get in this, it's definitely worth your money. Um, like, I don't even think I'll make any more of a dent in this within the next month. So I think this is like the second month that I've talked about it, and I have quite a few, quite a bit left. So these two together have been amazing. 
All right, next is the RCMA No Color Powder that I got from Beautylish, and you guys have heard me also mention this already, but I really wanted to mention it again because I have not used this for setting my entire face anymore. I have basically focused using this, focused using this, I have basically only been focusing um, on using this just for like my under eye area. I don't even know if that made sense when I said that. I don't know why I can't speak right now, but I have only used this just on my under eye area lately and not on my entire face. So what I will do is after I'm done with my um, foundation application and then I um, go ahead and put my concealer, I will go ahead and set this right underneath my eye area to kind of bake a little bit. I use this for baking under my contour, which I really like that for, um, but I haven't been doing that a lot lately because I have not been contouring. I've just kind of been using like a bronzer to kind of warm up my skin tone. Um, but this right here is great for baking, guys. I still use the Laura Mercier to set my face, but I will definitely use this for the baking part of my, my makeup um, routine. So what I will do is I will set this under my face and I won't dust it all off. I'll set a pretty decent amount right underneath my eye area, leave it there for, you know, probably like 30 seconds to a minute and then I will go ahead and wipe it off and it really does a great job at brightening right underneath my eye area without using any kind of brightening powders, which is what I like because I know that when I use brightening powders, it can look a little weird on me, like some girls can definitely pull it off and I have tried just on me, it does not look good at all. Um, but I find with this right here, I love the way that it brightens underneath my eye area because now I don't have to use brightening powders and try to consistently like keep up with that kind of trend. I mean, not that I'm trying to keep up with any kind of trends or anything, but I definitely wanted to do the brightening, the under eye brightening, but it just doesn't look good on me at all. It looks really like, it looks really chalky, it looks really like it looks really harsh underneath my eyes when I do that, and it just looks like I didn't use the right color concealer. Every time I go to do that with a brightening powder, it just does not look right on me at all. So this has really given me that under eye brightening kind of effect that I like without using any kind of brightening powder. So if you guys really want to try brightening underneath the eye area, I would definitely try baking after you put your concealer on with this powder right here, and you guys will love it amazing I have been loving this so much lately all right next is my last thing I want to talk about and this is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation that I raved about in my last video but I definitely wanted to give it another shout out because I have been loving this foundation I definitely need to buy the pump for it because it's really dirty um, but I did the last um, video that I talked about this in, it was that color was a little bit too light for my skin tone, but this is my perfect um, color. I picked this up in 3 and 2 wheat, and this is just my perfect color. It's what I have on right now, and I absolutely love this foundation. That's why I had to give it another shout out, because I feel like this foundation is just amazing. It's full coverage without being heavy on your face. It's not sticky at all. I feel like I can't even feel it on my face, and the fact that it's a full coverage foundation without being able to feel it on your face just makes it a number one foundation in my in my book because I have been looking for a full coverage foundation that is very lightweight, that's very wearable, that I don't feel like cakes up on my skin at all, it doesn't settle into any kind of fine lines that I have on my face, and that is this foundation for me, guys. I just feel like it's just the perfect foundation. So if you guys are looking for a very full coverage foundation, um, but that you can feel like you can wear out places, like sometimes when I wear a full coverage foundation, I feel like it's just very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm just, like once my face starts getting oily a little bit. Um, it just drives me crazy because I just feel like it's really thick on my skin and it's just uncomfortable. I feel like if I have to itch my skin or something like that, I feel like it's going to just cake off on me or just break up on me a little bit. I just don't like it. And that's another problem too, is a lot of full coverage foundations tend to break on my up on my skin because I am really oily. But I find that this one does not do that at all. It's a really comfortable full coverage foundation. And I love it. So if you guys are looking for a great foundation, I definitely highly recommend this foundation right here. So that is all of my favorites for the month of March. I am really glad I put up this video because I definitely feel like I had a lot of great things to share with you this month. So um, like I said, I will link all the things listed down below that I talked about in this video um, for you if you guys want to reference back to any of those. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. I also still want to do a giveaway on my channel, but I'm just trying to get my hands on one little item um, that I want to give away on this 
channel so I am waiting to do that but I also want to see if I can get this channel up to 2,000 subs so if you like this video um, definitely I don't know why my camera just stopped in the middle of me filming right now that's never done that before but like I was saying if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and see if we can get this channel up to 2,000 subscribers so like I said if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to any questions that you guys might have I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time I'll see y'all soon bye